I'm going to tell a story, and if this applies to you, you're going to have to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. You just bought a fancy new gun, excited to shoot it at your first pistol competition with it. You think you have enough time. It's two weeks away. So you go on the internet and try and order a holster. Except everyone's out of stock of the pre-made options, and all of the made-to-order stuff takes more than two weeks to get to you. Yeah, it sucks. So Ghost is based out of Italy, has recently moved their operations into America, and they are now offering gear that is compliant with both USPSA and IPSC. I'm David from the Humble Marksman Channel. Are you ready? Stand by. So on deck today, we're going to be talking about the Ghost Civilian Shell, which is the same shell, as far as I can tell, that's used on their Thunder holster, which would be the USPSA or IPSC closed holster equivalent. The double stack single mag pouch and the 360 with a D-clip. The 360 is already here in USPSA. Everyone's familiar with the 360. The new D-clip that they offer is like the uh, Blade Tech Tech Lock, but it's even easier to use. So this is now a great option to use for IDPA as well as USPSA. So we'll get started talking about the civilian holster. The civilian holster is available with like three different belt attachments. There is a like clip-on version that comes on the 3G, I think is the model they call it. There is a belt attach and then there is a paddle. Unfortunately, at least on me, the 3G clip did not pass the dowel test with my gun in the holster, so would not be suitable for IDPA. However, the basic belt attach, which comes on like the lowest cost model, works perfectly. You do have to thread your belt through the hanger, but it does what it's supposed to do. It's made out of a techno polymer, and I'm not a material scientist, so I, I don't really know what that means. It's not Kydex, and it's not Bolteron. I'm assuming that it's going to hold up well. I've only had this for a month or so, and it's held up to the little bit of practice I did to shoot a match with it just fine. And Ghost similarly makes duty gear that they've been selling to the police across Europe, so I'm assuming that the shell is going to hold up, but again, I don't know. I don't have enough experience with it. It's available in two trims. It's the Civilian and the Civilian Elite, and the, really the difference between the two is that the Civilian Elite, which is what this is, has uh, synthetic leather on the interior so that it doesn't mess up the finish of your gun, and it's like a $5 upgrade versus just the Technopolymer shell. Retention is adjustable by these two Phillips head screws here, but if you pinch really hard, you can actually almost turn the screws yourself because the edge of the screw is available. So you technically needed a tool to adjust it, but if you pinch hard enough, you can move the screw based on how the washers are designed. So one thing that is kind of a downside to this holster is if you have backup iron sights uh, on a red dot gun, which increasingly more people do, this is not a suppressor height sight sight channel. So I have a few different sights on my Glocks that I tried this with. My 34s are all wearing Dawson Precision Backup Iron Sights uh, for the MOS. These will not fit in this holster. However, the Ameriglo GL429s backup irons that co-witness with like a Trigicon Holosun work perfectly well with this shell. So the gun that I shot this with was my 19 Gen 5 MOS. Shot at carry optics, it went fine. Uh, holsters plenty fast and it retains the gun pretty well. So if that's interesting to you, Ghost has offered up a discount code trying to make inroads into the competition market, if you use the code GEARUP10, then you can save 10% on what's already a pretty good price because I think these hit the market at like $50 and $55. And their USPSA equivalents with the hanger are only like $70 and $75, which the Thunder Elite now is a pretty awesome deal. But that said, let's move on to the mag pouches. So the first mag pouch that I tried is this double stack single mag pouch. And it's basically just a techno polymer cup with a belt loop molded onto the back that looks like it'll accept even like a two and a half to three inch belt. Went fine with my inch and a half gun belt. Uh, retention is accomplished via a leaf spring that sits at the back of the holster body and it will accept all of the different uh, magazines that I tried with it. It was like a CZ magazine, a Glock magazine, a Beretta magazine, and basically everybody's mags fall somewhere in between those three. So it'll probably take any magazine that you have. Body is about three inches tall. So it does kind of come high up on the magazine. So if you want like the lowest possible profile. That's too bad. Uh, that's not what this is. I think this is really meant for duty, but it works good for sport as well. Retrieving the mags from this was plenty fast and it was reasonably stable on the belt based on how the belt clip kind of like bows in like that. It makes pretty good contact on the belt. And probably the most appealing part of this is these things sell for like 15 bucks. 
So previously when I was shooting IDPA, I used the Blackhawk uh, SMP Universal mag pouches or whatever, and they weren't as nice as these, and they cost, I think, $20. I don't know what they're selling for now, but this is a better mag pouch than those. So for 45 bucks, you could have three of them and be squared away for an IDPA match, or if you're building a battle belt, these fit on there. I think Goats even sells battle belts. This is probably the mag pouch you would use on that belt. But what I didn't like about it is because I'm fickle, and as soon as I'm done shooting, I want to take all my holsters off uh, to the extent that I can without a safe area. Uh, and since you have to thread these through your belt loops, I want wanted to try out the 360 with the D-clip. So that's what I did. The 360 with a D-clip basically just has these two tabs on either side of the mount and you slide them up and the little thing opens right there. There is a little bar that you can change the height of it so that you can dial in whatever your belt height is. With the inch and a half belt that I used on this, it worked fine. You might notice this blue piece of tape right here. That's because I used these in an IDPA match and the rules state that you can't have any cutouts on the face of the mag pouch away from the shoe body. However, mag pouches can be modified to comply with IDPA rules. So I put this blue painter's tape on it and it is good to go. And the reason that cutout is there is so that you can get at the leaf spring that is on the back of the holster to retain the magazines. It comes with four different leaf springs and two different pouches, can, allowing you to configure either bullets out or bullets forward. Since this was for IDPA, I left them as bullets forward. If you're using like a CZ magazine or a six hour magazine or a not a Glock magazine or a 2011 magazine, basically, you will need to use two leaf springs. So they have uh, an attachment for a second leaf spring on the side of it, and that's going to shim the magazine forward in the pouch and put pressure on the back as well. Retrieval from these mag pouches is super fast and because of how the D-clip works, it's absolutely fantastic to quickly get the pouches on or off your belt. I like it better than the tech lock. What's probably most exciting about the Ghost 360 with these D-clips is this is now going to be a mag pouch that is truly applicable in both games. You could have an inner outer belt set up for USPSA, take three mag pouches off easily, put them on your IDPA belt and compete in IDPA with tape on the side. Then when you're done, you can either take the tape off or leave it on and put the mags right back on your belt with a grand total of about a two minute investment of time. So if you're somebody who plays both sports, I think this 360 with the D-clip is a real winner. So you can compete in both games with the same gear, which is cool. So that is the Ghost 360 mag pouch. For the one major match that I'm shooting this year in IDPA, these are the mag pouches that I'm going to be using. I haven't decided which gun I'm gonna be competing with and that's going to inform what my holster choice is. If if I decide that I'm gonna shoot my old Glock 34s, then I probably will use the Ghost Civilian Elite. So I appreciate you for watching this. I appreciate Ghost for sending me this gear. Uh, again, if you're interested in Ghost products, you can save 10% with the code GEARUP10. So check that out. So if you made it this far, if you could go ahead and bang on that like button, it helps me out. I certainly appreciate it. Let me know what you compete with, especially you IDPA guys. What gear are you using to compete with? I'm legitimately curious what the most popular stuff in IDPA is. Now, it was Blade Tech and CompTAC when I was real heavy into IDPA, but I'm curious if that's changed at all. And if you've made it this far, YouTube has chosen this video for you to enjoy, and I've picked this video for you on the Glock 19 Gen 5. I appreciate you, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.